Station of the Cross workout. And, and the reason why we're doing this, we're moving into the Lenten season here in a couple weeks. Um, and again, it's the sacrifices uh, that Jesus has made for us, right? We always talk about football being a tough sport, right? We're tough people, right? There's no one tougher than, than that gentleman on the cross right there. And the only way that we're going to get to where we want to get to is through the cross. So in our little way, our little humble way, we're going to, we're going to sacrifice during this workout, not only for him, obviously, but for also for our teammates. We'll have 14 stations. For those of you who don't remember, there are 14 stations in the stations of the cross. All right, I'll be, the, I'll be the first one to model it for you. All right, so there's a little reading that we're going to do, and I'll give you the exercises that we're going to do. The first one's going to be push-ups, okay? So find that space and get that done. Hold on. Hold on. All right? So gratitude. Jesus has had one of the worst nights ever. Gets betrayed by one of his best friends. Arrested, tortured, and now he's condemned to death by people he has cured, helped, and served. Oftentimes, we do not feel like coming to work out. We get lazy. We have bad days. We don't want to wake up. Jesus did nothing wrong was condemned to death. Did we ever thank him for that? Let's thank him right now by giving him our best workout with all our effort. Here we go. 25. Let's knock it out. Let's count it out. All at once. Yep. Who's got it? I got it. Got so. It. Down. One. Down. Two. Down. Three. Second station. Jesus carries his cross. Determination. Not only is Jesus given the death penalty, he also has to be publicly humiliated by carrying a piece of wood he will be nailed to. And yet he does it willingly. He embraces the cross. He is determined to do God's will. He is determined to show us that he is willing to suffer anything for us. How many times do we work out truly doing it for our teammates? Let's embrace the challenge, the difficulty, the sweat, the fatigue, like Jesus embraced his cross. Let's get stronger for our teammates. Let's get stronger so we can serve better. Here you go. 50 seated sits. Let's go. 50 twists, 50 twists, 50 twists, yep, twist, ready, begin. Third station, Jesus calls for the first time. Oh, I'm proud, buddy. Commitment, Jesus has, a lo has lost a lot of blood. He was nearly whipped to death, had a crown of thorns shoved and beaten into his skull. Do it right, do it once, huh? Betrayed, arrested, spit on, jailed, slapped, crowned with thorns, condemned, forced to carry a cross, and now stripped in public. If we ever think that our life is hard, that we have it tough, 
Just think about Jesus in that moment. Jesus equals toughness. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We should offer up to God all of our sufferings, all our sweat, all of our difficulties. We should offer them up and make them into prayers. This workout should be a prayer that we offer. We are offering up to God for others and we should name them. You flies, you wanna be in here? You're gonna go be here. Up and back down. All right, 15 of them, 15 of them. He gave his life for you. Could be worse, you could be up on a cross. Begin. Do it right, do it once. Try to do it right. If you fail doing it correctly, that's okay. Jesus is taken down to the cross. While Jesus is hanging in his agony on the cross, Mary, Mary and John were there for him. They had not abandoned him. Jesus could count on them. They were loyal. That's not the point. Drive yourself back to a standing position. Oh, finish up, Trey. 14th page. Jesus is placed in the tomb. Jesus' passion and death were not the end. It was only the beginning. Down, 46. Down, 47. Down, 48. Down, 49. Down, 50. On your feet. Get up. Central, Baden, Purcell, Marion, and Roger Bacon to do the same. Thanks. 